Congratulations, you have selected the Sterling Diode Laser, one of the highest pieces of laser technology available in the marketplace. Let's remove the contents of the laser box. First we find a laser training manual, which comes with all the lasers. Next we have a training component. Lastly, we have a safety sign, which is necessary when utilizing a laser. Let's take all the components out now. First, we have the power unit. We have the power cord, which has to be hooked up. There is a cordless Bluetooth pedal. We'll put that right over here. Each laser comes with three pairs of safety glasses. Now the small intricate components. First, we have our handpiece, which is autoclavable. Next, we have our cleaving instrument. Then we have our removal, our cladding remover. We have three boxes or canisters of disposable tips. And now the most important thing, we have a key. Without this key, the laser can't be used. Now we're going to assemble the Sterling laser. First, we will connect our power cord. Before I do turn the key on, I'm going to put my safety glasses on. Very important, you never know where energy is going to go. We put the key into the system. We turn it on. Now the laser will be ready to work once we press this button. We turn this on and the laser is ready to work. Before we get started with that, we do have a Bluetooth safety foot pedal. You notice there's no wire connection. If you press down on the upper portion of this pedal, nothing will happen. That's a protective shield. The only way to activate the laser is to press on the pedal internally. You'll see the green light going off. We'll put this on the floor now. Next. First thing we have to do, there are two buttons here for extending and retracting the fiber. What we're going to do first, we're going to extend the fiber approximately four feet. That's approximate. Next, we're going to take our handpiece and we're going to connect our handpiece. We're threading the fiber through. We like to get it is about an inch and a half past, then we can tighten this up with our little lug knot right over here, and we're ready to go. Next thing that we do is we put our disposable tip on. We slide this into place, okay. and we should be ready to go with the laser. Now, as you can see, we've already removed the cladding from here. We're going to go over that process in a moment on how this works. So we have our laser. Everything is ready to go. Our next step would be to press the button. Press the button. Here's our aiming beam. As you can see, red coming out there through the thing. So if we want to test to see if energy is coming out, we're going to press down on our button. You could see how nice and symmetrical that circle is. That's exactly what we want. So very easy to use. After we're finished, press this button now. The laser, there is no more beam coming out. So the laser is inactivated for the moment. We've just used this laser, so what do we do after we've seen the patient? The next step is going to be to remove the tip that we've already utilized in the patient's mouth. We're going to take this, we're going to put it down. This is a very sharp tip over here. We're just going to rub this very slightly. Now what's going to happen is once we sear that, the tip just does peel away. Now with that, we're going to need at least anywhere from 5 to 10 millimeters of cladding. So we can put this inside here and it has a measurement device. We press down with the cladding remover, and then voila, we have the uncladded tip and we're ready to go. So now, if we want, we can bring this back into place. We can retract this slightly, depending upon what we want and we're working the mouth, or we can extend it out a little bit further. So we have a laser now that is ready to go. All we have to do is press our ready button if we want to adjust our aiming beam, 
we can adjust the intensity of the beam. So once we turn this on, there's a certain intensity of the laser beam. We could increase or decrease it based on what we wish. We'd like to give you a preset when you start out. There are three presets which are built into the system. All of these presets, as we say, can be modified. This is a five watt unit. We can adjust it. Let's look at the control panel. You can see there's a power setting up or down. So if we need to generate more heat at the tip, we can press the button and bring it up higher. If we're working on very thin tissue, fine tissue, we can drop our power levels down. Next part will be the different modes. We can work in a variety of modes. We can work, it's called a continuous mode, or in a pulse mode. You'll have in your training manual, it's going to teach you how to utilize the laser in a pulse mode for periodontal therapy, or in a continuous mode for cutting. The science you'll go into when you do take the training program. When you finish using the laser tip, you can put it right on there. Now remember, after you're finished, you can remove this entire head here. You remove the plastic, throw it away, and then you can autoclave the handpiece.